Price for Central Florida Short Sales. My name is Eric Mieles. Today is Monday, January 31st. It's the end of the month. Um, it's the beginning of a new week. I'm excited. If you've been watching the show, you'll notice a different background. Um, today is the first day I'm filming and we've officially moved into our brand new office. So I'm super excited. It's, uh, it's the start of a new month, a new week. and. Um, uh, you know, a new time in our business here at Ultra Processing. We're really excited. A lot of things are going on. Um, I want to keep you guys updated on everything that takes place. And maybe we'll do a show. I'll do a little tour of the new office. But it's beautiful. It's sunny here in Orlando, Florida. And um, I'm excited to get today's show on the way. I hope everybody had a great weekend. So let's get into it. Episode 8. Um, real quick, I want to mention a quick... Um, mention about a new partner that's coming on board. His name is Alex Pacheco, a new, uh, an agent who will be working with uh, through one of his short sale files. Um, he has a client that's facing foreclosure. Um, we've communicated all weekend and we're going to be processing this file for him. So I'm super excited to get to work, um, help his seller avoid foreclosure, help mitigate um, this file so that uh, you know we can do the best that we can for everybody involved. So that's uh, just want to mention that, Alex. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to working with you. Right off the bat, let's get into today's show. Got a couple of new short sales to announce. Um, first one: Central Florida on Lee Vista, uh, Central Park. I'm sorry, on Lee Vista. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful condo community. One bedroom, one bath, 776 square feet. Short sale listed for $33,500, if you can believe that. Only four days in the market, listed by Shar Minter of Century 21 Executive Team. Okay? Second one, in Avalon Park, beautiful master plan community in East Orange County. Four bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, 2,422 square feet. This is a short sale, listed for $179. Three days in the market. This home is beautiful, built in 2006, listed by Celeste. Baez of Exit Real Estate um, results, okay? Third one, Avalon Park, three bedroom, two bath, two and a half bath, I'm sorry. 1,460 square feet, short sale listed at one zero nine eight seventy. dollars $109,870, 16 days on the market, built in 2007, and this is approved, ladies and gentlemen, this is a short sale that's approved, listed by Sylvia Soto of Keller Williams, Homestead Realty, um, real quick though, if you are a buyer and you're tuning in today's show, give me a call um, because it says approved, but it might not necessarily be approved at that price, okay? A lot of times uh, agents will get an approval, um, but they've had it listed at a certain price. They're getting a lot of uh, activity, and so you know it works best for them. But uh, again, that's, that's what I've read so far, but if, if you need more information on this home, give me a call or send me a quick email, okay? Next one, Eagle Lake. Uh, four bedroom, two bath, 1,910 square feet, short sale, listed for $105,000 back in the market. This is approved, and actually this goes into perfect segue into what I was just speaking about. Um, this is approved at $112,000, uh, but if you notice, it's listed at $105,000. So, um, you know, the bank has approved it. They gave a number. Uh, this, this home is listed by Maria Baez and Vivian Azu Azuja of luxury realty, um, you know, but again, they kept it at 105, they may see a lot of activity, they may generate a lot of calls and um, a lot of interest from 105, and then they'll let the individuals know, listen, if you want to put an offer in this house, the bank has approved it at 112, but if you're a home shopper out there on the market, you might not be privy to this information or you might not know. So you go and put an offer with your real estate agent at 105, they come back at 112, you're upset or you don't know why that would be. Um, so again, it's very, very important dealing with short sales, buying them, screen them out, talk to the agent, find out as much as you can about the property, find out what, where in the process they are at. Um, you know, so, so again, that's just perfect to explain what I talked about in the prior listing in Avalon Park, okay? Moving on, Poinciana, tremendous deals in Poinciana, amazing. Four bedroom, two bath, 2,508 square feet, short sale listed for $91,000, it's a large house. 2,508 square feet for $91,000, listed by Glenn Barron of Keller Williams Realty. And the last one for today's show, Enclave at Berkshire Park. Beautiful, beautiful, four bedroom, three and a half bath. 2,884 square feet. This is a short sale as well. 
listed for $239,900. The BPO has been done. This is back on the market, listed by Sayed Ali of Watson Realty. I mentioned BPO has been done. Guys, uh, you know, BPO stands for Broker Priced Opinion. That means that uh, someone submitted a contract. The bank had to hire a third party individual that's not part of this transaction to go out and evaluate the property so they can understand what the market value is and they can make an, an approval, a denial, an adjustment um, to figure out what they're going to get. So the BPO has been done on this home and it's a beautiful home. If you're interested, go check it out. Let me know. And uh, for two thirty nine nine at 2,884 square feet. It's a gorgeous house, okay? Anyway, that's for today's short sales. Um, I always want to wrap up the show with a little tip for sellers. Over the weekend, I had an interesting conversation with someone very close to me. Um, they were seeking out a loan modification, and they were speaking with another person that was seeking out a loan modification. These two individuals, I won't mention names, but had retained the services of a local Orlando attorney. Attorney. Um, and because of the word attorney, they were fully trusting and believing that everything was being done for these individuals. They have approached a year's time since they retained the services of this attorney, law firm, in doing a modification for them and nothing has taken place. Now that their year contract is up, this attorney has sent them a letter stating that in order for them to continue going and working on the modification, that they'd have to go into another contract for a year and pay them a whole new upfront amount for their services. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's just horrible. It, it really bothers me um, that so many people um, have been so trusted and have paid one, two, three, five thousand dollars because they see it's an attorney um, and they believe these individuals are working very hard on their behalf to save their home with a modification and if you were to really know the truth and this isn't for everybody and I'm not stating that but a lot of times there'll be files and files on a desk somewhere that's nothing's being done and you've paid a lot of money uh, to believe that this individual or these individuals are working very hard for you when they're not. So, um, that was a hard one. It was a hard one to hear. I know we're talking about short sales on this show, guys. I know a short sale means, yes, you do have to leave your house. You have to sell it and uh, you have to leave. But you avoid foreclosure. And foreclosure is the worst thing you want to let happen. So if you're looking for a modification, which that's your prerogative, you want to stay in your house, you want to work very hard uh, to try to seek out a modification and see what the bank can do, great. But please take the necessary steps to make sure something's being done. If you retain the services of an attorney, that means you give them an authorization letter to speak on your behalf. Being that you've given them authorization to contact the lender on your behalf, means that you should be calling your lender to find out how many times they've been contacting them. Why not call and say, hello, Mr. Banker, I gave authorization to such and such person. When was the last time they accessed my file? If you see that they haven't accessed your file in three months, six months, nine months, then that's a problem. You need to call that individual and find out what's up. You need to be on their butt. You need to, you know, follow up. Do everything impossible. Don't just pay five thousand dollars to someone and then just sit back thinking you're saving your home. You're not, okay? So um, be aware. Uh, you know, take initiative. Take everything in your own hands. You can do a loan modification by yourself. You can contact the bank, although it's a lot of time. There's a lot of things involved, but there's a lot of information on the web right now that will enable you to be a proactive home owner and seek out options for yourself okay so that was my tip for today i hope everybody has a great day um take care you know you can always reach me right here email or my phone 407-383-2189 any agents or brokers out there if you want your home featured on the show i'd be glad to do so just give me a, a ring and i'd be do so and also home buyers out there watching the show uh short sales they're great great properties you know there are amazing deals out there. I did a list of um, approved short sales that would cut the time it takes to buy one. And if you want to access that list, you can do so right there. All right. Anyway, have a great day. Take care. Ultra Processing TV.